hey guys welcome back to my channel today i'm going to be working on my e36 and i'm very excited because i'm going to be installing a wing an ltw or gt inspired wing depending if i want it with the risers or not so we're going to take a look at that i already purchased the wing um it's in my storage so we're going to go get it and then i also have to go to home depot to get some hardware and the foam insulation. So, let's go. remove this little wing so I'm just gonna heat it up and then use one of these to pry it off So this is the final product looks pretty good um, it still has a little bit of residue but the wing is going to be covering that so let me put the wing on okay guys so what I did here was that I put some tape on here and then I went ahead and I got my base and I placed it where I wanted it located and then I did a little outline with a pencil on both sides obviously and then what I did was that I grabbed this paint marker and I went over the screws so I laid it back down and then it transferred so now I know where to drill if you have an easier way obviously go ahead and do that but this is what I got So what I did here was that I did a huge hole to access the screw and then now I'm going to paint over the holes so it won't rust. This is the LTW style wing. And this is the GT style. This is without the risers. Regardless, I'm going to paint all of it just in case I want to go back to the 
LTW, but this is what this one looks like. I think I'm leaning more towards this this one. I like how both of them look, honestly, but I think more people have the LTW. Hmm. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> so I have my foam here. And what I did is that I attached a vacuum hose. I always have some of these laying around. Um, so I attached it to this. And then I'm going to go ahead and insert it in here. So I'm going to insert the hose into the hole. And I'm going to insert it as far as possible while filling and slowly removing it. And it should be more sturdy because this is very hollow okay so I went ahead and inserted the hose and you can't see it but if you put a flashlight you can see you can see the top of it right here so I'm not sure how I'm gonna do this because it is my first time but I'm gonna try to just twist it back and forth while slowly pulling it out and hopefully it gets as much foam inside. It's expanding. So the hose actually did not work so well. It did only towards the beginning, but then I don't know what happened, but you're better off just with the original little nozzle it comes with and just spray it as much as you can. okay so this is the final product this is what it looks like and I'm going to pop it in and see how it looks on the car drum roll please <laughs> So I took it out to show you guys a better view because I don't have a lot of space in my house but I went with the GT style and I really like it. Let me know what you guys think if I should have went with the LTW. I did paint the riser so if I change my mind or decide to do the other one I will but I think it looks pretty good. I really, really like it. Okay guys, that is pretty much it for the video. I am really excited. I love how it looks. It definitely, you know, gives it... I, I feel like it kind of evens out the car because it was kind of heavy in the front because of the bumper. But now it looks perfect. Not perfect. I still need a lot of things to do. I do have a lot of E36 content coming up. so. I'm excited about that but I love how it looks let me know what you guys think if I should have went with the LTW like I said I did paint the razors so you know if I change my mind I can come back to that um, ignore my huge pimple <laughs> um, you guys it's starting to get really cold anyways um, I do want to I do want to go ahead and repaint the wing because I was just honestly really excited to paint it, so I kind of rushed through it, but I do want to repaint it. Yeah, that's pretty much it for the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I really did. <sighs> Finally looks cute. So thank you guys so much for watching. Until next time.